what like the brisket stall uh, temp or the temperature range is for the brisket, then just know that it'll occur anywhere from like 150 degrees Fahrenheit to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I know a lot of people have different like variances and different range temperature ranges that they may uh, experience uh, for their particular brisket, but just know that like if you're planning ahead and trying to figure out, okay, well. You know, like, well, what temperature does my brisket actually stall at, and what do I do? It stalls at around 150 degrees Fahrenheit to about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And then there's like a, a, a couple of different uh, ways that you can actually push it through the stall, too. So the first one is um, if you have like a, a certain wrapping technique that you like, like a foil or butcher paper, then you can certainly do that. And basically, what that does is it just like. Uh, increases the amount of uh, heat and cooking within the actual encasing itself and it doesn't let all the moisture and all that evaporate out of the overall encasing whether it be like foil or butcher paper in this case then that'll definitely push the brisket past the stall at a, uh, at a quicker rate um, another one that you could use and by the way you could use like both of these techniques but the other one that I like to use too is to really just crank up the heat as hot as you can so a good example is like if you're cooking your brisket at about 225 degrees ambient temperature or about 250 degrees ambient temperature, I, I would strongly consider or recommend that you increase your temperature um, to at least like 300, maybe even like 320, maybe even 350 for a period of time or just let it rip at that temperature range going forward. Um, from my experience, hot and fast style cooks like that will definitely just plow through the stall. And so you won't have to waste a lot of your time, your precious time, um, just sitting there twiddling your thumbs, drinking a coffee, uh, drinking a beer, whatever you do um, throughout that time period. So it should decrease it by at least like a factor of about half. So I highly recommend it.